So to show us this next sneak, we have Saurabh on stage. Let's welcome Saurabh, and let's take out the new technology. Hey, thanks, Steve and Mindy. Uh, thank you, everyone. As, uh, as Steve mentioned, today I'm going to walk you through a set of Adobe and Microsoft technologies that are coming together to help B2B marketers, as well as customers, accelerate the complete buying cycle, all the way from creating engagement to signing a contract. For this sneak, we actually took inspiration from Mindy's character in the Mindy Project, where she was a doctor. So fast forward a few years, the medical practice has expanded significantly, and Mindy is now the CEO of this company, which we call as Bodea in this demonstration. This is like fan fiction. I love it. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. We're continuing Fantastic. the story for you. CEO. Yep. Uh, I'll start off with the view that a marketer at Townsend has. Townsend is a provider of office furnishing services, and they use Marketo as their end-to-end -end engagement platform. So today, I get alerted to an opportunity by Marketo at Bodea. As I click into this, Marketo shows me a real-time view of all the account activity at Bodea, including uh, this tweet that Mindy sent out this morning showing a rip in our office chair. <laughs> what, a, what, a, what a funny and specific and boring tweet. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this rip. Well, apparently, your cat murdered OMG, yeah. hold on, hold on, I want to see. OMG, my cat murdered my office chair. Guess I'm furniture shopping today. Hashtag rest in peace chair. <laughs> I think it's really a good tweet. You captured my voice very well. And thanks. Except thanks. you sort of assumed I'm a cat lady, but eh, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, thanks to a cat, some cat, to make this happen. <laughs> yeah. Now, just like any other company, Bodea uses a team of people to make buying decisions. And for B2B marketers, it's imperative that you understand what that complete buying team is before a competitor does. Now, for the first time, Marketo can predictively identify the complete buying team. Let's see how that works. Why did I bring my cat to work? <laughs> so, I love it so much. Do, 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 do. Hey, everyone. Put my cat in my office, go to a meeting. As long as she's not part of the buying team, it's probably OK. I'm so sorry. Keep going. <laughs> so what Marketo did in the background here is Marketo use, combines account data from Marketo, Microsoft Dynamics 365, as well as third-party business networks with senses machine learning to uncover the complete buying team, including in this case, two new contacts that were previously not even in Townsend's marketing database. Now, fast forward, we run a cross-channel campaign targeting Mindy and her team, and after a successful sales meeting, the Townsend account team sends a contract over to Mindy using Adobe Sign for her to review and sign. Now I'm going to let's switch over to my mobile device here. I'm going to show the view that Mindy has when she opens this contract in Acrobat Reader while she's on the go. As you can see, there's a lot of rich information in this contract, which is really hard to consume on the go. What we've done is you, we've built an intelligent agent right into Acrobat Reader here that's powered by Microsoft Azure Cognitive Services, as well as document text analysis, AI technology. Let's check out how this works out. To start off, I'm going to ask a relatively simple question. How much does this cost? What's happening is the intelligent agent is using speech-to-text recognition capability from Azure Cognitive Services, taking that text, converting that into a semantic query to do a smart find through this document, and it summarizes the information back to Mindy as well as highlights the information on the contract itself. Next up, let me ask a, a more complicated question. How does this price compare with the price paid to the previous vendor? In this case, the intelligent agent is going to mine all the documents and contracts in Adobe Document Cloud to find the relevant contract that matches this query and come back with a recommendation to Mindy, but make sure she has control to decide the final contract that she wants to compare with. So let's say Mindy chooses the first one here, clicks on compare. Again, what's happening here is using text analysis AI technology, we're doing using deep learning, we're able to analyze these two different contracts, find the relevant data objects and data points in these two different contracts, be able to calculate what that price difference is, summarize it back to Mindy, 
which is a price is $40,000 more compared to what she had paid in 2010 to refurbish her office. But more importantly, we also visually show that information to Mindy, and we feel this is really important because increasingly consumers expect AI to be able to explain itself so that consumers always feel in control and are not double-guessing the agent. Now, Mindy is happy with this price, obviously given that she's expanded her office significantly. She goes ahead to sign this contract using Adobe Sign. Yes. And there you go. Just, sorry? This feels dangerous, but yes. <laughs> it's all secure. <laughs> Even though he's doing it for you. <laughs> so there you go. Like Within two minutes, Mindy was able to consume this contract on the go and sign this contract. How cool is that? Thank you. If you, if you. if you like this sneak, or if you like me, please vote for, oh. <laughs> please vote for hashtag intelligent agent. Thank you.